Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to solve a definite integral of trigonometries. Before we start, please subscribe to my channels, like my videos, click on the bell notification button and share with others. The question looks challenging but once you have the experience, it can be solved within 10-20 seconds. Two important information we need to know. In the first quadrant, cosine is positive. The second quadrant, cosine is negative. The third quadrant, cosine is negative. And the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive. Second information we need to know is tangent for negative alpha is equal to negative tangent alpha. So this is the original question. We know it can be split to four parts. Each part for one quadrant, 0 to pi over 2. Plus the second quadrant, pi over 2 to pi, same function dx. Plus the third quadrant, pi to 3 pi over 2, the same function dx. Plus the fourth quadrant, 3 pi over 2 until 2 pi, the same function dx. So we name this one as a i1, i2, i3, and i4. This is I1. We are not going to do anything. We will just leave it there. This is I2. We need to transform it so that the limit goes to 0 to pi over 2. Tangent. Cos. The x has to plus pi over 2. The x. Now we know that the cos x plus pi over 2 is in second quadrant, which is negative cos x. So the tangent of cos x plus pi over 2 now become tangent negative cos x which is negative tangent cos x. So I2 equals to negative integral 0 to pi over 2 tangent cos x dx This is I3 Let's rewrite it so that the integral, the limit becomes 0 to pi over 2 So tangent cos x plus pi dx In third quadrant, cosine of x plus pi is actually negative cos x Similar to the second quadrant the tangent of cosine x plus pi it equals to tangent of negative cos x which is negative tangent x. So therefore, I3 equal negative integral 0 to pi over 2 tangent cosine x dx. This is I4. Again, we transform the limit becomes 0 to pi over 2. And then the function becomes tangent cosine x plus 3 pi over 2 dx. So the cos of the uh, x plus 3 pi over 2 is in the fourth quadrant, which is positive cosine x. So therefore, the respective tangent is positive tangent cosine x. And the I4 is now transformed become integral 0 to pi over 2 tangent cosine x dx. So let's copy down I1, I2 and I3 put it together with the I4 here. The I equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 which is equals to 0. The final answer of this question equals to 0.